Hello everyone, welcome back. Sherry Weary here for 23 Days of Hope. This is day number two. I, again, I'm Sherry Weary, the CEO, founder, and empowerment strategist of Weary Consultations, LLC. I specialize in helping women and youth to live inspired and transformed lives in order to be their best selves. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about hope when it comes to being creative and innovative. Uh, so twice a day, I encountered messages of hope. Uh, I was part of a webinar and the host was talking about hope. And then I saw this post on social media about someone, um, they were talking about how their most innovative and creative moments came out of, you know, the craziest, most stressful situations in their lives. And I could totally relate to that. So that's why I'm now uh, doing this video today. And that's what I'm focusing this aspect of hope on. So 2016 is when I self-published my first book. Um, it is here. It's how to walking through the pain. It's an inspirational novel. It's also in the back up there on that bookshelf next to my other book, which I'm pretty, uh, really proud of. And in 2016, ended up having a really challenging year. Um, I had family members who went through health challenges. I um, mean, personally, I had a lot of things going on personally where just in this transition period that totally was unexpected and that was full of just challenges and stresses and frustrations and just some really difficult moments. And so I had to constantly, almost every single day, make a choice of, am I going to have hope or am I going to give up? There are some days that I just, I wasn't feeling it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest where I was just so frustrated. I was over it. I was tired, especially by like the middle part of 2016. I was just totally over it. Um, you know, but I also knew that if I gave up, that that would be all that I would know, that I wouldn't know anything else better. I wouldn't know the, the light and the redemption that comes from having hope and seeing hope all the way through. And so I'm so glad now, four years later, being on the other side of that, that I stuck through, you know, and I had to be creative when it came to my book launch, when it came to, you know, getting the information out there that I now had this book published, when it came to even navigating the different situations that I was going through. And that was definitely, even though it was a stressful time in my life, it was also still a time of creativity and innovation that set the stage for other things to happen. So that now put me in position a few years later to, you know, to officially start my business um, and being able to have other opportunities to come out of that as well. And so what I want to encourage everyone watching this video is to not allow difficulties, frustration, uncertainty to have you focus on what you can't do and what you can't have and what you can't control. There is still something new that you can do that you haven't tried yet. You have all that you need to at least start. Um, no, you may not come out with this big bang and, you know, be, you know, on level 100 uh, like other people who are more established, but don't expect to be somewhere where you haven't even given your time, self so the time to get there. You know, take the time to go through the process and allow your creativity to be able to pave your own path and allow your innovation to be able to create the framework from which that you will be able to build upon for years to come. You know, again, just looking back in that time, and I'll do a video um, more in depth where I talk about that, how um, with, you know, doing a book launch and um, on a budget, and being innovative in the way that I did that. Um, one of the things I can tell you all uh, now that I did is that I decided I was not going to pay for business cards. Um, instead, I decided to have a virtual business card instead. And so people would respond like, oh, you know, do you have, or would ask me rather, hey, do you have a business card? And I say, oh, can I text or email to you? I actually use a virtual business card instead. And they would respond and say, oh, that's so innovative. Oh, that's so creative. I've never heard of that before. And I'm like, <laughs> if only you knew, right? And so I found ways around what could have been barriers and problems and challenges that could have prevented me from still moving forward. Um, I found ways around it. And that was the innovation and creativity. It's something about pressure that either pressure will either force you into stagnation or even regression, or you can allow pressure to push you towards being creative and innovative. And so I want to encourage everyone to really allow whatever pressure that you are under to produce creativity and innovation. You don't have to have it all. You just need to have something. And you have something. You have the idea. You have the resources. You have the um, ability to be able to make it happen and to at least to just start. So just start and to have hope. 
Do not lose hope no matter what it looks like. Um, yes, be honest about what is happening. Yes, be honest about what you feel, but also be honest about what is possible and what you can achieve and what you can do and allow hope to put you in a position to not only be creative, not only to be innovative, but to still thrive in the midst of what appears to be a hopeless situation. Don't lose hope. All right, take care. I will talk to you all soon. If you would like to connect with me, you can head to my website, which is sherryweary.com, S-H-E-R-Y, W-H-E-R-R-Y.com. You can connect with me on social media. Um, my social media handles are below in the caption. So on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, you can like my business page on Facebook. And I will be back tomorrow for day number three. So I look forward to talk to you all soon. All right, take care. Bye.